Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this latest edition of Free TFOS, where I take old stories I've narrated and update them to modern audio standards. This particular story is called Useless, written by Algae Father Anthracite. Sound file, begin. V1. I don't understand. What do you mean, not worth it? V2. I mean the damn things just don't break. The ones we do break, which is like three out of our all sampling of a hundred, are completely useless for anything once broken. Try using physical methods instead of psychological ones. I'm not a recruit, you know. I've done this dozens of times. I've tried escalating physical methods. After we reach level six, the body starts failing, and the damn thing was just still making insults about the copulation habits of my mother. Are you serious? Level six? All the bones were cracking under the strain. And these things have bones made out of something like stone. It's ridiculous. They don't stop yelling either. And the translator had to be turned off at one point. These things are foul when they get mad. What level of psychological treatment did you get to? I ran these things through the grinder. Most of them made it to level 8 before they went catatonic. The one we did push to 10 was useless afterwards. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that they were unbreakable. As it is, like I said, once you do break them, they just don't work no more. What about deprivation, food, water, rest? Going without water for a few days it just outright kills them. Less than ten local rotations and they are done. They can go a week without sleep before they break, but again, they're useless after that. What about food? I don't think that's going to work. We kept a couple from eating since we scooped them up. It's been, oh, uh, 16 local rotations. They just start using their own fat and muscle for energy. Near as I can tell, it'll take at least double that as you starve one. So you're telling me that starving them takes forever? They can go without rest longer than any other known intelligent species. They have bones made of stone for all intents and purposes. Breaking them mentally renders them useless, and breaking them physically is not impossible without destroying them. Did I mention that they are extremely violent as well? We've lost four guards. We had to institute new protocols. Two guards per specimen. We were transporting them one by one, and they kept killing the guards. No, for feck's sakes, with what? They're unarmed prisoners. Or oh, we had one guard strangle with a specimen's restraints, one killed with his own service weapon, one literally beaten to death with the specimen's bare hands, and, oh, my personal favorite, one specimen tore out the guard's throat with his teeth. I thought they had a level 3 civilization. Well, I do, but I don't think anyone told them. There's no way to use these as slaves. It just isn't worth it. Even if we took everyone on the planet, we are looking at maybe one million usual slaves. After processing seven billion, I say we leave, and we should do it soon too. They somehow figure out how to remove wall paneling. They keep taking the holding pens apart. We had one we had to drag out to the access tunnels. What a nightmare. This is going to cost us a fortune. What is that sound? Oh shit. Yeah. I think they're in the walls again. Get them back in the pens. And when you do, dispose of all the samples. We're getting out of the sis. Explosion. End of file. General McMasters turned the device off. He stood facing a man seated at a desk in the over room. We were able to recover the ship and a few of the crew alive. Most of the humans on board, the specimens they spoke of, were taken from Fort Everson. About 75% were military. The rest were families or civilian contractors. Nearly all of them died in the crash, sir. The survivors are, the general paused, swallowing hard, recovering a well. Where are the ship and its crew? Asked the man sitting behind the desk. We have them in a level 10 security bunker at the Skunk Work site near the Canadian border. We already have experts inbound to decipher everything. This was made using a device one of the survivors explained to us. Apparently, one of the abductees had a pocket recorder when he was nabbed, set to auto-record audio. It must have wound up wherever they were having their meeting. We ran it through the translator they spoke of. Now you want the ship stripped down to the last bolt. You reverse engineer everything. Don't worry about the budget. I'll make sure someone orders a pallet of hammers for four grand apiece if I have to. 
We will be ready when they come back, and we will show them how useless we are. End of story. I'd quickly like to thank the T5 peeps. Cold War Boomerwaffen, Severin Cerberus, Bushmaster 177, Henry the Red, Caspar Arnholtz, Cold War Boomerwaffen, Elijah Silvercross, Dragzoon WRE, and Severin Cerberus. Thank you very much.